Hello everyone, this is Tetrahedral Gaming. Um, so you may be surprised I'm finally playing um, Banished again, but I haven't played it in a while, mostly because I bought RimWorld and it was so much fun that I basically forgot about Banished. Um, but now I've played a too much RimWorld and I'm bored and stuff, so I want to get back to Banished. So. Let me unpause the game. Um, it's. I wish it. I, I wish it would rain less often. That kind of ruined my showing you what my. Um, what my big banished city look, looked like. Hmm. What needs to happen? Well, we have food. Well, how much food do we have? Is that food? Is the food? Okay, good. The food is going up. Um. We have enough herbs. We we aren't. We don't need coal yet. Do we have enough iron? Do we, how much? Why is this not popping up? Oh, we're just up there. Duh. Uh, what are the production statistics? Can I build another hunting cabin up here? Yeah, I probably could. So, food production. And that would be the hunting cabin. Nope, that's not. Forgot. Oh yeah. <clears throat> I've played so many other games like Sim City and Rimworld that I've forgotten how to play this one. Oh, I'm sorry though. If if you heard that, that was my dad's phone. But oh well. So, um, so I was gonna, um, build a huge, awesome ship in Space Engineers, but, um, are the people actually quarrying? Where are the stone cutters? Okay. Okay, so there I have. So it's winter again? I wanted to. Could I install a mine up there? I could.
The reserve of firewood is low. Okay. <clears throat> uh, could we build another... Oh, how low is it? Yeah, that's pretty low. I'm going to try to use the proper tool bind, not tool bindings, I don't know exactly what you would call it, the proper keyboard mapping, I guess, for Banish, but I'm probably going to end up using Space Engineers, SimCity, and um, RimWorld half the time. What is this producing? I don't know what that's all about. I was trying to use the camera views and stuff so that I could just jump around. But Banish does not want to cooperate. What's the limit on food? 5,000? Okay. Okay, I think that, um, okay. So, because, because basically when I started this episode, I had no idea about what I would do, but and now I think I know what I'm going to do. Do I already have a trade port? Yay. Whoa, talk about a lot of people bringing stuff that we have 50 population. So, um, so, with my RimWorld series, I know that it kind of failed, and I'm sorry that this is off topic right now, but, um, but it failed because I was playing with Randy Random, who is, he will throw anything at you, um, which is why getting, like, the mad animals and the raids and stuff at all at around the same time. That's what brought us down. It wasn't that I made... I, I probably did make some stupid decisions like taking people that were incapable of violence because <clears throat> because it's fine to have people that are incapable of violence, but only if you have, like, at least eight other people that could still fight. 
in a much larger RimWorld series that I that that I'm playing personally without posting it on my channel. I have I think eight people and two of them are incapable of violence, but but all the other ones are absolutely awesome. Or it might actually be one now. I don't know. I think that we're, we're going to need to wrap up soon, but before we do that, let's, I'm going to say, what do we have a lot of that's somewhat valuable? Oh, iron tools. Let's do 40 iron tools. Now it says that the reserve of iron is low. Um, so, why I'm doing a shorter episode then, my normal RimWorld series is so that I can actually completely watch over this episode and cut out any bad parts. So, um, bye everyone, and I will see you in the next video, no matter what game I'm playing.